Um, I'm here for another Friday Reads. Uh, sorry, I have not caught up on responding to comments. I keep saying every weekend, I hope I'm going to. I was a lot further behind than I thought I was, and I don't spend as much time on YouTube as I used to. Um, so, hoping again that this weekend I will catch up because, yes, I will, I will. Um, so, I'm here to talk about the things that I have read this past week and the things that I would like to read coming up. Um, so, if you watched my last Friday Reads video, you'll know I've implemented this new, very exciting color coordinated system that I stole from um, Doris. It's very exciting. Uh, so basically, I have like the books. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, the books that I am planning on reading, and then I color in the box if I have read that. Um, I'm also keeping track of like what I've read and what I've bought over here and like page count and stuff for my overall monthly page count spreadsheet. I've turned into a crazy person, but I'm very pleased with that. Um, I have not finished anything yet. And you know what? I'm okay with that. <laughs> um, I am already reading a lot more doing this as opposed to not having any kind of like structure or anything. So I'm very pleased. Um, I have a few goals each day. One of them is to read um, a short story from this short story collection or anthology, whatever you want to call it. I've only read three so far. They are all so good. Well, okay, let me rephrase that. Uh, the first one was good, fine. The second one was The Sun, the Moon, and the Stars by Juno Diaz, and it's in the collection. Um, this is how you lose her. So I had already read it, and also I'm like, you know, not feeling super great about Juno Diaz at the moment. Um, I did read it again, though, and it was fine. But this last one that I just read is Mrs. Dutta Writes a Letter by Chitra Diva Karuni and holy crap that was so good oh my gosh I felt so many things during this short story um it's about an Indian or I think she is Indian she might be Pakistani she moves to the U.S. to be with her husband or her husband her husband has died she's a widow now and her son lives in the U.S. with his wife and then their two children and so the son is basically like, come move in with us. So she moves there. And the whole thing, it's called Mrs. Dada Writes a Letter because she's like trying to write a letter to her best friend back home. And um, it is just like heartbreaking because it goes through like all of these different like stages of like she wants to be like neat, like she's cooking for them. And like, you know, she wants to feel like needed and part of the family and loved. But then like also it's really uncomfortable because, you know, the grandkids don't really know her. And there's so many like emotions and feelings that I – like understand so well in that story and I just thought it was absolutely beautiful highly recommend I'm gonna find out they're like I'm gonna look to see if this author has like a short story collection or novel or something because like damn that was so good so that's exciting also uh since we last spoke uh something that I had ordered arrived which is the short story advent calendar so now I'm reading another short story collection and I've also only read three from that um, let me see. I don't even know. That's number four. This, the design for this one is really great. Sorry, this video is going to be super long. Let me see if I have anything momentous to tell. I think all of them were so, you know what? All of them are really good so far. So we'll talk about that later because I have to talk about some other stuff. <laughs> um, I have not really read much of this. I've only read 20 pages of this. Um, but I am excited to keep reading it. And I have read a little bit more of this. And I have been reading magazines. I did just read another... <laughs> I've got things all around me. A short story in The New Yorker from uh, October 29th called Wa um, by Brian Washington. That is... Our main character's name is Poke or Pokey or... I think it's just Poke. Um, and it he lives with like a group of boys that kind of do like sex work and it is just also so good it was so good so basically I'm really enjoying all the short things and long things that I'm reading at the moment I am mostly paying attention to these two books I am buddy reading this with Jake's mom this one I kind of have stopped reading a little bit so I'm gonna catch up I'm gonna try to finish this this weekend um this is a hiding place by Cory Ten Boom uh so far this is really good it is more religious than I would like it 
to be personally, I'm not a religious person. Um, and I, you know, I'm not like one of those people that's like against religion. I just like, you know, don't really like need it per se, like in my reading material. It is like really, really heavy handed with the religiosity of it. But the story is like really, really powerful and moving. And she's like getting to the point. She's kind of like gone through her like, like backstory, I guess. And then now she's at the point where she is like, basically like become part of the resistance on accident. And so she is like finding ways to like get Jewish people into her home and like protect them and stuff. And it's like, so wonderful like that's it's really really impressive the bravery that she has and like the love that her whole family has for each other is just wonderful and this is like some hilarious book about uh, a man uh, Dr. Junius Crookman who creates a machine that can turn uh, black people into white people and not even just like make them like look not black but make them look like uh, what's the word? Like Aryan? I think that's the word. Like make their like features and hair texture and like everything be like Caucasian, which um, is very interesting. <laughs> uh, this is very, I think it is very weird and very hilarious. Um, I feel like you have to have a good sense of humor probably to read this book. And there are obviously like non-pleasant racial terms being used in this book um, because... It was written in like the 30s or something. So there's, yeah, it takes place in the 30s. So I assume it was written in the 30s. But anyway, so when I'm finished with The Hiding Place, um, the next nonfiction book that I'm going to pick up is Our Kids, The American Dream in Crisis by Robert D. Putnam. I received this in a Goodreads giveaway in 2015, the beginning of 2015. So it's been almost four years since I received this and I haven't read it yet. So I'd like to read this next. Um, I think it has to do with like education and how it is making things not great. You know, I think so. And then uh, when I finish Black No More, which I am definitely finishing tonight, um, I'm going to pick up Sex and Rage by Eve Babbitts. Uh, this is a book that was published in 1979. And it just says, uh, a dreamy young girl moving between Los Angeles and New York City. I don't really know what this book is about. Uh, I bought it at Wordstock, not last year, maybe the year before last year. Uh, it says 2017 on here, so it must be last year at Wordstock that I purchased it. Um, I don't really know anything about it. All I know is that she is apparently a good author, an overlooked good author. So... Those are the things. Oh, also, I bought Saga Volume 9, so I'm going to read that tonight, too. I'm going to finish Black No More, read Saga, and then go for The Hiding Place. Those are my goals for the night. Goals for the weekend are to try to catch up. Um, what I am doing, sorry, <laughs> again, this video is so long. What I am doing is I'm trying to, like, um, you know, if, so I've obviously not been doing super great because I only have color. I've colored in at least one box a day though so I think that's really good um, but what I'm doing is so like my yellow is black no more and today's the seventh so I'm going to read my 30 pages and then if I read the other 30 pages then I'm going to go back and color this one so I'm going to like backtrack if I'm catching up if that makes any sense because uh, I want to keep track of the things that I'm reading even if I'm doing it after I was originally intending on doing it. Okay, I'm going to go read now because that's it. If you've read any of these books, please let me know. Especially if you've read this one. I'm um, especially curious because I haven't really heard much about it at all. Okay, bye-bye.